put it on by hand and just work it in. Especially since Erica did this nice job of marking it out for me. So I just work it in like that. And then I've taken this, what is essentially a three quarter inch piece of wood and I'm just setting it down there right on the edge there of where the oven's gonna go. Okay, and I'm just using it as a marker. Is that right? what they call a screed board? Yeah, it's what you would call a screed board. And, you know, you don't need to get too terribly much into it. You know, when you're working with a screed board, you want to work into the board a little bit. What's that? The fact that it's moving? Yeah. Huh? She's thinking about the big wind flowing across the Skagit Flats. <laughs> oh yeah, well, the roof's not going to fall over, but it isn't totally fastened down yet. All right, so you're... And you've basically got an invisible screen board out here on the edges. Street hands. Yeah. <laughs> it's not all. And notice, I had this back mixed. It's a little low on clay from what we're going to be mixing a bit later. But sticks real nice. Gives you a really good base to work from. Okay? And we put the bricks on that, we'll have it level. If we put the bricks